my people i agree to now how on a day how on a day how this season my prayer be may god just protect everybody and keep everybody both the people within this platform and people in every area that god will keep us from january to this time go see carry us will enter the new year in jesus name but uh, i beg my people you get one thing where they surprise me oh. particularly with the Igbo people me i know be Igbo. i be typical yoruba man i will tell you the truth i don't like injustice in my life i don't know study Igbos to the point where we say i don't know where i will place them again when I go, they say we be able, we be able. Then they cheat us, then they do this, they do that one. Then they do this. So many times where election they come. Instead, these same Igbo people go come together, carry one person. As other people they do, I'm carry one person. Okay, and I be our own, no. Ah, now I better make all of us pick one person. Then let the whole other millions of people come, put us, to, go push this person. She say he entered that position. We will not the end for all these years where they don't marginalize, they don't want to give us. Instead of you doing it, that time you go come see more than one million people come out again, say that they contest again. Ah, tomorrow again, when I go come again, say na Yoruba, na them, na them, na, na them betray na, na them be this, na them be that one. And yet now na they betray on ourselves. Look at her papa, Adi Banjo. That Yoruba man, over 90 years old, I've been 95 years old. He don't need cry. He said, Look, give this thing to Ibo, give this thing to Peter Obi. Yoruba man, they there now. A lot of me, I be Yoruba. My family, the whole of us, we don't vow. We hate Tinubu. In fact, we don't want getting to do with TV Tinubu because we see say bias they this thing. Make everybody come give hand. Let us support this Igbo man. We have seen Peter Obi. He's been tested. We've listened to all his manifestos and campaign speeches to see that none of the other candidates is he's, he's anywhere close to him. Look at all the polls they are taking. He beats them so far, hands down. In all the things they've been doing, I don't know. But when it comes to this, I don't know whether these Igbos, whether they bewitched you people or, or what, I don't know. Please, people, we should go and sit down and think. Look, if you make Peter be to lose this thing that God wants to do through him, and it will not affect him. It is you people the thing will still affect. And if he lo- loses this, you may not even get this position again, no. So if you know what is good for you, eh? Uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, this woman here. Uh, at Oise, or what, what is it called? Uh, Okorocha and the rest of you, all of you that are using your tomb to dig the graves of the East, my thing will happen. Stand out tomorrow to give answers to the unborn generation because they will go to your graves and curse you. We here, a lot of us, millions of us here, have decided, even in Ekpaya, local government, a lot of places in Lagos and in the South West here, we don't even want Tinubu. It was the same thing. We came together and agreed that APC will never win in Oshu. And we are trying to change the narratives. And we are doing it for you people to do this because we know that you are the ones that God has given the academic knowledge and the and the technological power to help us, to help us in this country. But you are selling yourself for a pot of pottage. What what is it that the northern, northern man will give you that you are going to sell your brother? They are too easy. This and that one. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Tomorrow again, you come back and say, eh, now how's that people? They're not doing that. Them are your white people. They come, they gather, they do this and that. If you let this thing do the day you open your mouth again to cause your brother, God will punish you. Peter will be to me is the only one I know that is competent, that is fit for this. We have seen his track record. Check his antecedents. Check his trajectories in life. What is wrong with you people? Why can't you come together? This is the only claim, only claim, and then, 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 as if you love each other. But when it, when the thing that will bring pro, um, development comes to your way, you will come and sit down and frustrate that same person that wants to bring about this development. Is it because Peter B does not share money that you are, you are angry? You want to destroy this man's and whatever? I want look. Whether I do it or not, whether Peter Beerus is not or not, it does not, def- it does not, it does not uh, uh, take anything from him. He has his money, and God has blessed him. He will, he will, he will, he will live. He will enjoy. I know a lot of people, a lot of evil people that frustrated Jonathan. That said, no, this and that one, that, that, that today Jonathan is laughing at you people. Even me here, my own pastor frustrated Jonathan. When my, when, when Jonathan was on power, are you listening to me? When Jonathan was 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 on, was on the throne here. My pastor was getting salary, was getting money, they were getting things free of charge. 
this pastor will stand and insult uh, Jonathan. No, this and no that. But today, since he retired under this Buhari's administration, his gratuity his pension, nothing has been given to him. He's suffering today, he's regretting today. A lot of people are regretting what they did to Jonathan. And the same thing is going to repeat itself. If you frustrate Peter B and he doesn't get this thing, God will still bless him. It is the same you people that will regret tomorrow, and God will use God will throw his stones from heaven to destroy you people. You better do this thing and do this thing. We ourselves here, we have seen the truth. Let Igbo man come and do this thing. The foreigners are the ones that are pushing. Are, even, I'm, so, I'm sure the Americans and the British are here. And they are supporting that, that all, is it? Because the, 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 the foreigners, the, the Western world, they know that the moment this thing gets to the Igbo man's hand, there is no way they will take our resources again. Our resources will, will, be, will be retained there and will transform our things into finished whatever. That's what this man is fighting. The man has been to the North. I'm, I'm resident in the North here. I'm from the Southwest. But most of my life I've spent in the North here. I know what is happening here. Please, look, if you know what is good for you and for your people, let this thing happen. Let this man come and sit down there. We have seen a lot of vision and dreams here. What God wants to do through Peter B, allow God to do what he wants to do through Peter B. If not, now I go suffer. Now when I go suffer. Now, now I go suffer. Your children will go back and do I know what Igbos are going through in the hands of the Northerners here. I know how they are attacking them here and there. Let this man come and do what he's, what he's supposed to do, that, what God wants to do through him. Okay? We made the mistake of, of putting uh, Baba. Today we are regretting it. But now that everybody has realized their mistakes and they are saying, God, please come and help us. We have done it. And God has now hacking, hacking onto our cries. He wants to help us. We are now using our, tom, our tombs to say, no, we don't. what is wrong with Nigerians? In fact, particularly the Igbos, what is wrong with you? Why can't you come out and work for the common good of the, of the Southeast? Eh? Peter B is not just fighting for, 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 uh, for the Igbos. He's fighting for everybody, not just the Igbos in the East. There are Igbos. Let me tell you something in case you don't know. The Igbos that are scattered all over the world and other parts of this country, of this country, are more than all the Igbos that are in the East there. So why not do and come we here? Even I have my, I have my best friends today are Igbos. I'm learning things under them. The good food we are eating today is coming from the East. So Igbos are relevant in every area you see them. So why would the idiot, the useless, the thieves that are there, even when Chia Soludo was there in the city area, people thought he was a king, he was a god. We, we thought he was, a, he was a good Igbo man, he was an honest Igbo man. But what is he doing today? Because of the bribes you are getting from this day, you want to rule. Rule for where? Eh? If God has not destined that you be a ruler, no, you will never be there. Why not support this Peter B and let the dream that you people have been dreaming all this while come to pass through this man, so that Nigeria can become a good country and become and become uh, uh, Dubai again? Eh? Eh? I remember the time of Ojuku. I read, even though I wasn't born that time, they did the Ogunigwe or what did they call it? If they could do that thing that surprises the world till today, ah, uh, don't you know that Peter will be coming in here can do even things that the world do not, the, the world does not have. Russia has this, Russia has that one. But the moment Peter B enters, a lot of Nigerians want to come back. I know a lot of Nigerians that want to, they are hungry to come back. They are tired of being second class citizens. They are tired of being brain drained. They want to come back. Let, they, let, them, let their fatherland brain drain them. They want to bring their potentials and develop this country. What is wrong with the Igbos? Why can't you sit down and say, no, eh? you are the ones that are making things to be difficult for yourselves. If all of you had come out to say, no, no, let us pick some. And that's what the outsiders and the Yorubas do. Eh? Outsiders may bring about 10 people. But the moment they see that other people are coming, other zones are coming to this, they will back, they will back down and push one person to the, to the front. And even Igbo still will go and vote for them. What is wrong with you? I love Peter B. I'm from the southwest. I don't like Tinubu. I have seen his record. He's claiming that he's the one that did Lagos. He's not the one. He is not. It's Latif Jakonde and the federal government that time that did this thing. Even the Lagos is claiming he did this. Go to Lagos today is a mess. Eh? Nobody should go and gaslight anybody and do anything and, and, and think that they can do anything and, and buy our conscience. No, that was then. We saw that conscience when we saw that conscience in, in, in ignorance. Okay? All those promises that they, are, that they always make. No, we don't, want, we don't want those promises anymore. Peter B is capable. Are you hearing me? Give, give someone that has what it takes to deliver. Give that person that position. Please, stop destroying yourself for, the, for, the, for your own self, uh, selfish interest. What will it profit you to gain the whole world and lose your soul? Eh? What will it profit you to gain the whole world and lose your integrity? What will it profit you to, uh, to acquire, accumulate the whole wealth and you lose your respect before unborn generations? What do you think? How do you think you will, you, your family, they will look at your family tomorrow? How do you think they look at your family tomorrow? Eh? If you don't have shame and conscience, think of what your children, your unborn generations will face. Are you hearing me? King Pharaoh of the Bible today, I don't think the family is ever relevant because of what they, what they did in those years gone by. 
nobody can come out today and say yes i'm i'm sterile i feel whatever because they have stained and soiled their garments during the time of their father so why do you people want to soil your own garment let me tell you whether i like it or not though, the blessing that's hanging on peter will be is still on him let me tell you what whether you like it or not let just do this uh, because he stole money here and there because we're not saying it and eh? peter you have checked this track record you say no what did you do in anambra this if you didn't make anambra comfortable will you be going will you will you see that there to, today and say you are you are you are you are, you are leading the this thing why won't you come why won't you appreciate even if the peter B is the bad person and uh, he's our own let us give it to him what is wrong with you what is wrong with you what is wrong with you is the question i'm asking why can't you stand up and say no let us defend our fatherland eh? the british knew when they came in during the colonial whatever here they knew that evils resisted them they saw that these people are ah, no they have potential if we allow them to do this we'll do that they came and collected took all their lands and give to the north and yet people are still struggling Tinubu will say this in Lagos that they don't want the Igbos, this and that. Who are the people that are raising the taxes, that they are, the, the money they are making in Lagos? Go to Ojolega, I mean, go to uh, Idumota, go to uh, Mandela's, go to, have been to different places. It's Igbos. Who is as industrious as, as the Igbos here? So why can't the Igbos too, that have money, that money you are using to campaign against the P2B, why not use it to, to, to arm the youth and to, and to propagate the, 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 his interest, the more, for this man to enter? Why do you want to impoverish your people? What joy will it give you to see your people suffer again for the next eight years? Eh? And if this man loses this thing, I'm telling you, it may be difficult for you. In the next hundred years, you may not get there. So, my own advice for you now is, please, sheed your sword. Whatever. That man that is wearing that cap with uh, two, 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 two pigeon feathers there, that I don't know where he went together, this is a cortic, uh, pigeon feather, whatever. They should take that cap off his head so that you will have sense. Let breeze enter that head. It's like it's heat. Heat. So much heat has accumulated and, and has drained, has, has got, got in, entered into his brain. That that, hair, that red cap is not allowing hair, uh, air to enter his brain. Remove those feathers from that atroid the head and let, let us have, have peace. Eh? Please. What is the problem with you people? Why can't you sit together, sit down, and help your people? Peter B has been going around, coming, go, going up and down. He came to the north. He went to the textile industries. He has been to virtually everywhere. This because of you, he went. He has gone to different countries. Oba Sanjay is there now, campaigning for him too. Oba Sanjay has realized his mistakes. Now he's campaigning for this thing. Tomorrow you say it's evil people. And Zem Oba Sanjay has gone to meet Biden. Has gone to meet this thing. Even before the Queen of England died, the Oba people have gone there. Look at how the Obas are carrying placards saying no, we want Peter B. But the same evil people and the rest of them are there castigating him. What is wrong with you people? Eh? <laughs> well, they say what well, is the enough for the wise? Oh, if you not like, you not like, you not good, you not from the evil extraction, you not good. Your people are suffering here. Your people are suffering here. Your people are suffering here. They are the ones that have the economic might, economic might to transform the country because God has given them. I can see the tendency of the Israelis in the life of the Igbos. It's the truth. That's why I don't, I'm not doubting anybody that is telling me that they are, they are, they are, Israel, they are Israeli extractions. They are. Because everything that the Israelite touches becomes, they have my, uh, my Midas touch. It becomes, it becomes gold. And that's the same thing with the Igbos. Eh? They give them land that is not fertile, that is not, they, they, the soil is, 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 has been de uh, depleted. Yet, they convert, they're able to convert those things. You don't, you, you're, you're denying, denying them everything. Yet, they struggle. An Igbo man will, will struggle from the age of six. He will go and do boy, 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 boy. He will stay. From there, God will bless it. He will become a glorious leader. Well, you people will not even look at that. Don't you know that God has deposited potentials in you people? Eh? Ibo land is the only land where I know that you can you cannot see anybody going to beg. If you go to a bad land, they are, they are beggars. Even your bars. You come to the north, that's where it is. The, 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 that's the worst case scenario. But Ibo land, no matter how uh, how terrible somebody is, even if the person is born blind, he will have something to deliver, something to contribute to the society. You people should take this and know that yes, no, we are God's own choosing, God's own, uh, God, uh, God's own uh, 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 vessels. Eh? You are peculiar people. You are unique. What is wrong with you? Sometimes I regret why I'm, I'm not an Igbo man. Please, you people should do and help yourself, oh, yourselves, oh, because if you allow God, if you allow God to take his hands off your case, you may never, ever, 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 are you hearing me? You may, I'm not saying you, you may never, ever achieve that thing that God wants to give to you again. Because God, God is very patient. But if you frustrate God's plan, for your life and for your for the level of your people, you are the one that will sit and regret and cry tomorrow and wish you were never born. I'm just telling you now, if you know what is good for you, let the Igbos put their ears together. And if the leaders still say they want to do this, let all the Igbos gather generally and stone them to death. And stone them to death. Don't allow the, the sin of one useless uh, uh, group of selfish people come and, come and, cause, cause, come and cause you your, your future. 
Okay, just as it was in the days of in the days gone by, when a, when Achan went to steal the, the Babylonian garment, and God said, and they went to fight against AI, and the AI defeated them. Small group of people defeated them. God said, no, you you you, you have not been able to defeat them because of the sin of AI of of Achan. And God gave command that they should stone Achan and Achan. When God when, when they destroyed him and his household, the members of his household, there was peace. And Israel went and they and they got their victory. Let Ibos do the same thing. If these evil people, Chasoludo, Atwazio, Hopus Odima, who is their the number one devil, if they do anything, if they don't want to, please carry them out, stone them, kill them in broad daylight. Let their blood be upon their head and let the Igbos, let the let let East get, have, get, regain its freedom, regain the, 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 the freedom that God kept for them, gave them that was snatched. Please, 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 I'm hungry to to be to, to taste of the development that comes from the East. I'm tired of all the nonsense that is coming from outside. Why? I'm tired of all the all the all the, all the nonsense that people are doing to this. These are very special people because they know, and the devil knows that we are ever that was why when he saw the star of Jesus, he wanted to destroy Jesus. Anywhere the devil sees a star shining, just as he has seen Peter be shining, he there is now focusing all his attention to see that Peter B doesn't get there. And by God's grace, Peter B will get will get there. And let me tell you. I know that even if Peter B does not win the national destiny, it will be the fault of the Igbos. I know he will win in the East. He is going to win the destiny in the East. But please, what will give me joy is please let us work together and give Peter B this thing. I've been living. I know how to struggle. I've lived with Igbos. So they have taught me how to struggle. That even if you don't give it to Peter B, and then another person comes and even the case becomes worse than it is here in this country today, I will still survive. But a lot of both, a lot of you will still suffer. So please, let everybody come together, let the Igbos come together, work together for the common good of the Igbo and for the common good of everybody. I know that if Peter B comes in an Igbo, the, the country, not only East, the whole country will get it right. And I, I look at it, I say shame to the Easterners who are frustrating this man. Ken Namani, Chimaroki Namani, Abi, what do they call his name? He's supporting uh, Bola Tinubu and the rest of them. And here, they hate, they hate even your bars that you're seeing, a lot of them hate the Tinubu. Then you as an Igbo man, they're supposed to, you have seen how you have suffered and you're the one that will say they are marginal. Analyzing you, you will still go back and do this. What is wrong with you? Why are you people uh, living the life of hypocrisy? Don't you have shame? Don't you have shame? Let me tell you, if it all goes wrong, and you come complaining tomorrow that is your boss that did this, is your God will punish all of you. God will destroy any evil man again that will come and say it is because now I'm saying it. Let everybody, let everybody open their eyes and see that is the evil that is killing their own brother. We are in support of Peter B because we are tired of everything here. We want development. Our people are suffering. Our people are broad. Our people are broad. Are being are being taxed. They, can, they, are, they are paying tax, they can't even send anything home. And these are the same people that have come into the country again, that are, that are, sup, that are sponsoring the likes of Atta and the uh, Hopus Odima and, and the rest of them to destroy. Because they know that the moment Igbos get here, our goods will no longer be going out. Nigeria will change for the better. Look, I'm telling you people, come, I'll start, stand with Peter B. Stand with Peter B. Stand with Peter B and give him his rightful place. God wants to use that man to deliver Nigeria. Remember the years gone by. How industries were everywhere in Nigeria. Igbos were controlling industries, and, and Nigeria was a very great country because of what the Igbos were doing. The devil came, took over the whole thing, and today the devil is still use, is using the same brothers, Eastern brothers, to frustrate their own. I'm telling you, if you don't use your tongue to count your teeth now, it will be too late. Because they said the chain of habit is too weak to be felt until it becomes too strong to be broken. The chain of habit. Is too weak to be felt until it becomes too strong to be broken. A word they say is enough for the wise. I have so much to say, but that will be for next time. God bless you all. Have a lovely day and happy new year in advance. Take care and bye bye.